Greetings, YouTube. Welcome back to the channel. Not all heroes wear capes. I have a very limited amount of time to record these videos. And I appreciate Mr. Garrett Jason, who at first sent me some videos, but they didn't have all the details. So I uh, told them, you know, I'd love to use them, but I need to know what they're actually selling to be invested. Now, you'll notice the Cavalier prices are cheap compared to Paragon, and for good reason. But Paragon bundle number one, we're talking about like 4,500 units. This is 250 units. It's almost crazy to think about in comparison. Um, okay, so if you're Cavalier, really what you're focused on is Tier 5 Class Catalyst selectors. And so this first one, not really going to do the trick. Now the second one, um, again, Tier 5 Basic and Tier 2 Alpha, this feels like... Cavalier offers from three years ago. Very underwhelming. Very under Both these do not get passing grades first. Now, this romance bundle definitely does. So it's 850 units. So we're talking about $30 worth of units. But between the 50 five star six stones, which, hey, I know it's five star, but six stones are six stones. But the 20% tier five class catalyst fragment selector, and you can purchase up to five of them. What does that mean? That means that in theory, you're guaranteed, and I realize that's a lot of units if you buy all five, but you're guaranteed 100% tier five class catalyst selector to take a six star two rank three. And I know for people who are Thronebreaker, or especially Paragon, that doesn't sound like a big deal, but it is a huge deal because this is often half of, besides the progression. Now, of course, I know plenty of people who are Cavalier because they haven't wanted to explore the content needed to become Thronebreaker. I can't help you there. Uh, if you don't want to explore Act 6, uh, you know, you don't want to explore Act 6. But at the same time, uh, I still think this is an A deal for Cavalier players. The first two get like Fs. This bundle number three gets an A. I got to, you know, got to be honest about that. All right, bundle number four. Here you have a six-star rank one to rank two rank up gem. But then a 10% Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal is trash. This does not get an A for me. For 2,000 units, this gets a C. That is an average 2,000 unit offer for Cavalier players. Here we have a Rank 4 to Rank 5 5 star Rank Up Gem. At this point, I think it's worth half of that. Uh, this Romance Awakening Gem, that's a generic 6 star. This for Cavalier players, this is the best you can do. This is an A-. minus. It's a pretty expensive, it's, it's 100 bucks, but the only reason why I'm not giving it an A is because I would like to see something that's a Tier 1 Alpha thrown in. That's random. But at the same time, okay, clearly, clearly, I know they're priced as this, but clearly we have two Cavalier offers that are head of the pack, five Tier 2 Alpha and 30,000 five-star shards. I'd give this one also a C, very average for what you get, skippable for sure. And then the ISO selectors, that's no big deal. Okay, so that is uh, Cavalier. Let's go to Thronebreaker. Let's let's spend a little time grading these. Okay, so you get a Cavalier Nexus Crystal. <laughs> that is literally $2.50 worth of value there. And 1,000 six-star shards. Yuck. This should be way better. You should at least get, for 250 units, you should at least get two Cavalier Nexus Crystals, probably even more than that. And I'd say this should be double. It should be one Cavalier Nexus Crystal and 2,000 six-star shards. I'm going to give that a generous D grade. No thanks on that bundle one. Bundle two, 10% uh, Tier 5 Class Catalyst Fragment Crystal. Yikes. Three Tier 4 Class Catalyst Selectors are cool, but 450 units and two Tier 5 Basic, maybe a C- minus at best. But I'm going to say, conservatively, it's a D plus. Not great either. Okay. Starting off very poorly. All right, here is the big thing for throne breakers who want three rank four six stars to take to rank four. I don't think this is the value Kabam thinks it is because they're pricing it as if on a good day you would get half of a tier three alpha and half a tier six basic. And for like 1,500 units. So it's 150 to 100 units higher than it should be, and it's giving you 
what is this, 25% of a Tier 3 Alpha and Tier 6 Basic instead of 50? Uh, disappointing. In terms of rank-up resources, it's it's what you need. But I'm still going to give it a either a D plus or a C minus. That's that's underwhelming for the price, and that's a bummer because that's probably your main one. Six star Nexus for seventeen hundred and fifty units. I mean, those are such gambles. I think again, it's a C minus D plus, a rank two to rank three rank up gem for two thousand units and ten tier two alpha, along with a truly pathetic amount of gold. This is, again, okay. You know, I'm not going to complain about it, but I'm also not going to be excited about it. It's going to be one of those things that if you've got a champion to rank up and you want to save those resources, you could do a lot worse. And it's interesting that they're limiting one per because they're making you think that it's an amazing deal. But really, if you're Thronebreaker and you're trying to become Thronebreaker, or excuse me, if you're Thronebreaker trying to become Paragon, Gosh, you can tell I'm on two and a half hours of sleep. Uh, you need some more rank up materials with this. And they're only concerned about giving you what appears to be those rank up materials from one. And then there is a 60 or 50 six star six stones and the awakening gem for. No, there's the relics. Yanks. I do not care. I do not care. I do not care. Um. Yeah, so this this offer specifically, hundred bucks for a generic six star awakening gem, and six stones. This is a, a B offer. You know, I think it's it's one of the better ones there. But I'm disappointed with Thronebreaker. I think the main goal for you all, especially given the Paragon prices, should have been to have this be half instead of twenty five percent, because what they're really trying to tell you is that we expect Thronebreaker players for a fully formed of each of these. And I can't believe I'm actually saying this because it's such a high number. But if there's 25%, if you buy all four, that's 100%. And so all four would be 6,400 units just for one fully formed of each. That's over $200 worth of units, which would mean for Thronebreakers, they're expecting you uh, to have a six to seven hundred dollar asking price for tier three alpha and tier six basic to take up a six star two rank four, which if you need three champions, that's about two grand that Kabam is still valuing going from Thronebreaker to Paragon just from that specific, not counting any Act Seven completion progression milestone uh, into it either. So I don't know. I'm a bit I'm a bit let down, honestly. And I'm sure if I'm let down as a Paragon player, I'm just looking at these objectively. How are Thronebreaker players feeling right now, you know? Well, there are your grades. Cavalier, you got a, one really good offer. Thronebreaker, I don't know. I guess the best offer technically is the Awakening Gym, but I don't think I'd give a single offer an A for Thronebreaker. And I wanted to. I just can't. Sorry about that. Thanks for watching.